Hello, Leo. Happy Sunday to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Leo, what's showing up here for you? You want to clear the air with your soulmate. Yeah, you do. But you're very guarded emotionally towards your soulmate. Yeah, this is you wanting to have be much better communication, to have better understanding of this relationship, where it's going how they truly feel, what they're planning. Yeah, this is you trying to be brave to start that communication of great importance to you to have better clarity. You miss this person, so you're not with them at this particular time. You feel disconnected from them. You're either broken up or feeling disconnected, alone in this relationship. Yeah, you feel like there's part of you that wants to completely let them go. And part of you wants to hold on. This is you uh, feeling that you are in a relationship by yourself. This is you missing them, feeling sad. Yeah, you see this? You guys don't communicate effectively with each other. There's a lot of uh, communication issues showing up here. Not enough communication to have better understanding, right? Yeah, a lot of... So it looks like this has been a relationship of breakups and getting back together, breakups, getting back together. It's kind of come and go relationship, right? Yeah. Wow. You don't want to deal with this anymore. You want either a solid relationship or no relationship at all because you feel drained. You feel tired. Yeah. And you don't want to chase them for communication. They should be able to reach out to you. That's how you feel. Universe, please show us. You view them as kind of not taking you seriously. Yeah, just coming and going as they please. Not really committing in a healthy way. Uh, yeah, you feel like when you do talk, they're not really absorbing what you're saying. Not processing what you're saying to them. That's how you feel based on their behavior towards you. Yeah, Universe, please show us. Huh, what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on their summer journey? You have very good intuition. When you feel something strongly, trust your intuition. You are fabulous. You see this? This is you shining at what you do, being very diligent at what you do. Yeah, you see, you're tired. You are very tired. You don't want to play any mind games. You are serious about your life and this relationship. You feel like if they're not going to meet you halfway, that you have no choice but to let them go. Yeah. There's jealousy towards you at your job. So wherever it is you work, there's jealousy towards you. You feel like you always have to be on guard. New job showing up here for you, whether it's a new job, new position, new place of employment, new way of doing business. You are a go-getter. You are very um, ambitious. Yeah, you are talented. You see this? This is you. Something is going to drastically change at your job or business. Yeah. You view yourself as available, not in a relationship with your soulmate. Yeah. This is you shining. Some of you have your own business. You shine at what you do. Yes, you do. You shine. You have talents. Use those talents wisely. I'm happy for you, Leo. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you see, you view your soulmate as attractive, alluring, charismatic, enigmatic, 
um, but you also view them based on their behavior towards you. You also view them as very much set in their ways, wanting to be in charge, right, um, not really expressing emotions, not committing in a healthy way, not communicating effectively. You feel drained by their behavior. Yeah, you see, this is you. Uh, something happened recently where it turned you off emotionally. Their behavior turned you off emotionally. You see this? You see a different side of them that uh, you were questioning before and now you see it. You were like, wait a minute. Yeah. Look how fabulous you are. You are of high quality, Leo. So remember, when you hold such high vibration, you have to be very picky, selective, right? Who you hang out with, right? Yeah, who you trust, who you spend time with. It's very important you recognize your worth value. Let's see. You know, let's please show us what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey. You love this person a lot. You feel that if you let them go, you're not going to find someone that you're going to feel such intense, deep connection with. You worry that you're not gonna, never going to find this kind of feeling again. Yeah, this is you. You feel extremely connected with this person emotionally, spiritually. But you feel they are very slow to action, that they don't act eagerly. You see this? They only showing up as a knight, not a king or queen, which means that they have history of this kind of behavior in relationships, kind of come and going as they please. Look how stressed out you are. Yeah, you're very stressed about this relationship. Yeah, you're very stressed. You feel like it's on the rocks, like it's breaking apart completely. Yeah, you see this? You want to reach out to them, but you feel that they need to be proving themselves to you, that the ball is in the court, that they need to be the ones initiating this very important communication. You see very clearly what's going on around you, Leo. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with the soulmate of Leo that Leo has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? This one over here. Yeah, that's how they behave. My least favorite night of all nights, night of ones. Yeah. Yeah. In and out of your life, not really communicating effectively, not listening, not committing in a healthy way, just coming and going as they please. Yeah, they realize that this is not the way to behave, that they won't be able to uh, hold your interest in them if they continue behaving this way. So that's a very good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But the good thing is they see very clearly that this kind of behavior is not going to capture your attention forever, that they're going to lose you if they continue behaving the same way, right? Wishy-washy, in and out as they please. Wow, this is the best card in the whole deck. They are very connected with you emotionally, spiritually. They're not able to let you go. Yeah, yeah, they want so badly to see you. They worried you're going to meet somebody else. <clears throat> so listen, Leo, somebody else, somebody new is entering your life. This is a very good combination. Someone of Quality, value is entering your life. The sun with three of cups. Somebody you're meeting through some kind of social gatherings. Look how fabulous you are. Again, a fabulous queen of wands, a go-getter. This is this person views you this way. They view you for who you truly are. Someone of very high quality. Yeah. Someone who's not chasing them, not desperate for their attention. They realize that if they just sit there, do nothing, you're not going to come back to them. Yeah, that they need to take action. You see this? Your energy is beautiful, Leo. You are attractive. You are alluring. 
Uh, you are talented. Yeah, you see this? Yeah, you have a lot to offer in all sorts of relationships, not just romantic. Be selective, be picky. Yeah, recognize your worth value, Leo. Universe, please show us. Hmm, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo that Leo has been dealing with? They're so worried that this is over, that you're going to say no to them. Honestly, they won't know for sure till they approach you, communicate with you, spend time with you, see you, right? Interact with you. Look how beautiful. So they are watching you. They are watching you to see what you're doing, who's in your life. Um, fabulous Empress. They realize you are of high quality value. You're not chasing them. Yeah, again, this person that you're dealing with is very much set in their ways. They like to be alpha. They like to be in control. They like to be admired. You see, they need to let that ego kind of fall off to come back to reality and realize that you're not going to be chasing them, that they need to be proving themselves to you. Wow, you are meeting new people, people who are influential yeah, people who are powerful, influential, successful. I love the new soulmate's energy. King of Pentacles, my favorite king. This person is very worried that you're going to find somebody else. Yeah, but they need to prove themselves to you. So something is going to shift, change with your finances or your job or business. Yeah, something is going to shift change yeah you don't know how badly the person that you've been dealing with wants to uh, gain your trust again but they're gonna have to gain it right through actions that are consistent they're so heartbroken sad they have a lot of emotional baggage from past relationships that they need to address work on release forgive heal from you see this yeah they have a lot to address that has nothing to do with you wow this person loves you a lot yeah they do universe please show us huh what is going on currently with that summit of leo Wow, so there were some serious disagreements between you two. Some words, harsh words were exchanged, and they keep dwelling on what was said, what was stated. This is them feeling heartbroken, sad over some things that you said to them, but it's because you told the truth that they didn't want to hear or maybe weren't ready to hear. But if you said it, it means it was meant for you to say it. Yeah, you see, they're checking up on you heavily. Wow, so there was some kind of betrayal in this relationship because when you add five and two swords together, it makes it seven of swords, some kind of dishonesty, deception. Um, yeah. Yeah, they lost you. They realized they lost you. Death, the end of a relationship. They realized this is serious. Yeah. Some of you are letting go of Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, you see? Yeah, there, there was some kind of serious uh, betrayal because a serpent, a snake is showing up right under lovers with seven of swords. So whether they left you for somebody else or were um, dishonest about something of significance, it was something serious. And they regret it deeply. They feel it wasn't worth losing you over. The question is, what will they do about this now, right? That's the real question here. Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as King of Pentacles. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good 
And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of pentacles energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.